Namaste yogis, welcome to my channel. My name is Matt and today I've put together a quick 15 to 20 minute yin yoga morning routine that I'm gonna dive into with you. So it's a beautiful Friday morning here in Canada and I wanted to share with you that energy flows where your intention goes. And this is what we're going to be focusing on with this short morning sequence. Let's see if we can try to explore sending our breath through various areas of our body and putting our intention on energizing the mind, the body, and the spirit. So let's dive right into it. For today, you don't need any props. And we're just going to go right away onto our backs, getting into banana pose. So from your back, you're going to walk your legs to the left side of your mat, and then you're going to cross your right leg over your left ankle. And then we're going to move our upper body to the left side of the mat. And then you can bring your arms above your head and grabbing onto your forearms or just allowing them to rest on the floor. You should feel a great opening and stretch on the right side of your body. So let's just stay still here. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Sending our focus and intention throughout our body to feel energized. Then we're going to slowly uncross our right leg, making our way back to center. And now moving our legs toward the right side of our mat, crossing the left ankle over the right, shifting our upper body to the right, and then bringing our arms above our head, feeling that opening on the left side of the body. It really feels good in the morning to do banana pose. can slowly uncross our leg, make our way back slowly to the middle, 
And from here, we're gonna bend our knees and go into reclined pigeon pose. So we're gonna cross our left ankle just underneath our right knee, opening up that left leg and hip. And through the opening between the cross that we just did, we're just gonna reach through and pull on our right knee. So you should feel an increased stress in your left glute. And that's what we're aiming for right now. And then we're gonna very slowly lower our right leg back down and our left leg as well. So now we're gonna cross our right ankle right underneath the left knee, opening up that right hip, reaching through and pulling on that left knee. And we're gonna slowly lower our left foot to the ground, uncrossing our leg. And then I'm gonna invite you to turn to your side and come to the seated position. And from the seated position, we're just gonna go into a gentle spinal twist. So lengthening the spine, creating that openness in your rib cage. You're gonna inhale, feel the breath come in, fill in your belly. And then on the exhale, you're gonna grab your left hand, put it on your right knee and then turn your body. Looking back over your right shoulder, just feeling that nice stretch, keeping your spine upright to the best of your ability.
and then you can inhale and on the exhale try to turn a little bit more feels really good to twist your spine in the morning as well and we will slowly release come back to the middle taking a moment here a few breath in and out through the nose and then big inhale and on the exhale grabbing our right hand putting it on our left knee and twisting our upper body looking back over the left shoulder And then big inhale through the nose on the exhale, releasing and twisting a bit deeper into this position. Once you're ready, you can slowly twist back to the middle, straightening out our legs in front of us. Just opening up the flesh of our butt. And we're gonna go into a forward fold. So you can keep your knees slightly bent if it's very challenging in your arm string or you can keep them straight and you're gonna inhale and on the exhale, walk your fingertips forward, allowing your spine to round, your neck to lower itself down so that your chin can come in contact with your chest. And then once you feel that increased stress in your vertebrae behind your legs and your hamstring, just hold it still, focusing on the breath, energizing the body through awakening all of our tissues. And then with every exhale, you can try to see if you can walk your fingertips a little forward, forward. Deepening the position. And once you're ready, you can raise your torso very slowly back up. Taking a deep breath here. And then turning onto your knees. So we're gonna go into wide knee child's pose, bringing our knees to the outside edge of our mat, touching our big toe together behind our butt and sit on our heels 
And then we're just gonna be walking our hands forward, allowing our upper torso to lower itself down until our forehead comes to rest with the mat. Focusing on the breath here. And we're gonna slowly walk our hands back, raising our torso, closing our knees. And from here, we're gonna go to all fours, lowering our upper body to the ground, extending our legs, and coming into Sphinx pose. So you wanna have your elbows right underneath your shoulders, palms on the ground, toes untucked, and feet flat onto the ground. Focusing on the breath here. This is our final asana of the morning. Once you're ready, you can slowly flare your elbows out, put one hand on top of the other, and lower your forehead on the back of your palm. Taking a little moment here to notice how much better you feel. Almost like noticing the energy flowing better within your body from head to toes and back all the way up to your head. And once you're ready, you can come back to the seated position. So I hope you enjoyed today's morning practice. Those are the best when you're a little shorter on time, yet you want to have the benefits of yin yoga. So thanks for joining me on the mat today. 
And if you can subscribe to my channel, like, share with your friends, or even donate, it's very much appreciated. So I'm going to wish you a beautiful weekend and beautiful day ahead. And happy Friday, everybody. Till next time, bye.